afternoon. My name is Michael Sondag, and I'm from Washington, D.C. My question is about the sharing economy. What larger implications do you expect companies like Uber and Airbnb to have on their sectors, and do you think this business model is here to stay? Well, they're obviously trying to disrupt uh, some other businesses, and those businesses will fight back in, in competitive ways, and they may try to fight back through legislation. Uh, you know, when, it, when anybody is threatened, uh, or any, any business is threatened, it tries to fight back. I mean, if you go back to when State, State Farm came on the scene in 1921, that the, or 20 or whenever it was, the, the agency system was sacrosanct in terms of insurance. It had been around forever, and the big companies were in Hartford or uh, New York, and uh, they fought over having the number one agency in town. So if you came to Omaha and you were travelers or or Aetna or what, whomever it might be, your, your, your objective was to get the agent. And uh, uh, the policyholder really wasn't being thought about. And then State Farm came along and they had a better mousetrap and then Geico came along with a better mousetrap yet. And so every, and the industries uh, originally, uh, the insurance companies fought back in a lot of ways, but one of the ways they tried to do it was to, to insist you know, on, on various state laws involving what agents could do and what could not be done in insurance without agents and all that. It's, it's, that's standard. And you'll see that. And in the end, the better mousetrap usually wins. But, but the people with the second or third best mousetrap will, will try to keep that from happening. I, the ones you name, I don't know anything about. I mean, I know what they do, but I don't, I don't know the, their specific prospects, which is why we kind of stay away from that sort of thing, because we don't, we know there'll be change, and we don't know who the winners will be, and, and we try to stick with businesses where we know the winners, we know, we know <coughs> and that our energy companies, that our railroad, a lot of our businesses are very, very, very likely to be winners, and that doesn't mean they don't have some change involved with them, but they're going to be winners. And, and then there's other fields where we can't pick the winners, and so we just sit and watch. We find them interesting, but we don't get tempted. Charlie? Well, I think the new technology is going to be quite disruptive to a lot of people. And I think retailing in particular is facing some very significant threats. And you heard Greg Ebo talk about a power plant in Iowa that was huge to serve one Google's server farm. When you get computer capacity all over the world on this scale, it is changing the world. I mean, you're talking about... Fast, too. Yeah, and fast, so. <laughs> and I think it's gonna hurt a lot of people, just as all the past technology investments hurt a lot of people. I think Berkshire, by and large, is in pretty good shape. Where do you think we're most vulnerable? Well, I don't think I want to name them. Okay. <laughs> now you've got them all wondering, Charlie. <laughs> Section three. 